Hello, and welcome to SSO Hands-On Video Tutorials. Today, we've got an amazing hands-on video. In this video, we'll quickly show how to enable Azure AD authentication in Oracle EBS from start to finish in under 10 minutes. Let's take a quick look at the high-level steps. Check the EBS logins before SSO. Enable SSO in EBS. Add Azure AD app in your Azure tenant. This is typically done by Azure AD admins. Configure EBS URLs in the Azure app. Restart EBS and test the SSO logins. Let's quickly check the EBS login before enabling SSO. I'm going to log in with a demo user and launch forms. The Oracle EBS version used here is R12.2, and the database version is 19C. Let's enable SSO in EBS by running ssogen command first with deploy option and then register option. Let me note the SP Entity ID and the SP Reply URL which are required for the next step. Now let's go to Azure AD Enterprise Applications. Search with the keyword SSOGen and add it to your Enterprise Applications. Once the app is added, configure the app with the EBS URL details from the previous command. Name ID should match with the EBS username. Make a note of the App Federation metadata URL for the next step. Copy the App Federation metadata URL and save the XML file as idp.xml and restart EBS services.
The SSO integration is now complete. Let's now quickly test the EBS logins. EBS now redirects users to Azure AD authentication. I'm logging in with Azure AD credentials. Other requirements, such as MFA, are enforced in this login screen. Once the user has landed in the EBS homepage, the rest of the EBS functionality is the same as before, just that the login comes from Azure. SSOGen fully supports logins from Web ADI, workflow notifications, and seamless login experience from EBS to Oracle BI, Apex, Discoverer, etc. Though SSO is enabled, EBS still supports local logins with EBS username and passwords via the app's local login URL. By default, SSOGen enables both SSO and local logins. However, you can restrict users from using local logins with a profile option. Non-SSO users such as sysadmin can still log in with app's local login URL. Now that the SSO integration is complete, let me quickly go over some frequently asked questions. SSOGen is a next-gen SSO solution for Oracle EBS, PeopleSoft, JD Edwards, and SAP. And SSOGen is an Oracle-validated and approved integration. It integrates with more than 300 SSO solutions. It authenticates more than 1,000 applications, both on-premises and cloud. SSOGen is also a Microsoft, Okta, and IBM technology partner. So how does SSOGen work with Azure AD? Well, it adds SAML and OpenID capabilities to Oracle EBS to authenticate any SAML identity provider, such as Azure AD, Okta, OneLogin, Shibboleth, On-Premise AD, ADFS, Ping, Duo, etc. Also, non-SAML SSO solutions such as CA SiteMinder and IBM Tivoli Access Manager can be integrated with EBS. Enabling SSO and EBS is now simplified. All it takes is just running a command and no installations are necessary. SSOGen is a gallery app in Microsoft Azure Gallery. You just need to add EBS URL to the configuration. SSOGen V2 is a complete on-prem solution and it doesn't need a network connection to internet or any cloud directory. User sync to another directory isn't required. SSOGen seamlessly integrates with Active Directory, Azure AD, Okta, OneLogin, Ping, AWS Single Sign-On, Google SSO, Auth0, Thales, and 300 more. And it's not an EBS-only solution, as it protects PeopleSoft, JDE, and SAP ERP systems. SSOGen also supports pretty much all the bolt-on applications such as OTM, Oracle BI, Discoverer, Apex, Hyperion, etc. hosted both on-prem and in the cloud. It also supports many non-Oracle web applications as well. SSOGen is not another complex SSO server you're going to be building. Rather, it's just an EBS connector that can be enabled in minutes. 
It uses EBS's out-of-the-box components, and it requires no code tree changes, and it doesn't require another directory such as OID. SSOGen is started and stopped with EBS standard startup scripts. It works great with all EBS versions from 11i, R12, and R12.2, and EBS patches or upgrades don't break SSO functionality. We offer a completely free trial for 30 days. You can test SSOGen in your environment and gain first-hand experience to validate use cases for your organization. Contact us for the trial license key and find out the cost savings when you move from your current SSO. Thank you for your time today. Please send your questions and inquiries to info at ssogen.com. Learn about our reseller program for hosting and consulting partners and find out why 65 Fortune 500 companies choose SSOGen. Thank you.